previously on Hey J Hunts. I didn't just lose to Diablos. I got destroyed by Diablos. I have never been so utterly, utterly destroyed by a monster in this game the way Diablo destroyed me. Oh, how the tables have turned. Give me your body parts. Oh, that felt good. Yeah, you cry. Cry, man. Nice! I got bigger monsters to kill. This dance is over. Hey J Hunts! Welcome back to another Hey J Hunts! This week, the Diablos is no more, low rank is now behind me, and I'm a little bored. We're gonna get into all of that, but if you like updates on the whole Monster Hunter journey I'm going through, be sure to subscribe and like the video. Let's start off on where we left off last week. I was absolutely crushed, demoralized, and destroyed by this Diablos. He gave me the shakes. I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare or two, and I wouldn't walk around the house at night because I heard his screams. Sunday came around, and we did, we trained. We trained so much, we grinded. Okay, so this was actually a whole new mindset of how I approached armor, which is, I think, the way you need to do it. I went through my entire armor list and looked at defense, and I looked at skills, which is very important. So just looking at defense alone, I pretty much narrowed it down to five monsters worth hunting, which were the uh, Legiana, Rathlos, what other monsters are in that upper tier? Pretty much um, uh, Clifford and all of them. So I looked at kind of those low rank end game monsters. And that's where I found that we had the highest defense. I was like, all right, I need to craft some armor out of this. And then I went through every piece and I picked out some skills that I think would help such as sheathing quickly, having more health, a uh, little bit more stamina. And I think I had some for stun and I had a bit of ice stuff as well. So. All of that considered, looking at the set I fought Diablos with last week compared to this week, I had about twice as much defense. I also used my sphere orbs or orb spheres, whatever they're called, and I leveled up that armor twice. So every piece of armor, I think, got like 20 to 30 extra defense. It was a crazy amount of more defense. Anyway, twice as much defense. Skills, I looked ugly, but oh my god, I went back into i just want to make sure i went back into this fight with diablos and it was a whole night and day difference and if you watch the stream you'll see i'm actually still scared of diablos and i was actually kind of delaying starting the fight with him because i was so nervous i was like i don't want to go through this experience again i don't want to get destroyed this bad like i got i got just like molested last last week by this by this monster and um i did try doing like the hammer i was going to do the hammer and while i was training i did a lot of hammer runs to try and get a sense of it but i just couldn't get anything to feel right with the hammer after i think it was like three or four hunts i was like you know what let's just go with that pride that i i died by the switch axe let's have a revenge with a switch axe and before we get into my full revenge i just want to say during the training session i discovered the special arena quest which was a really interesting and this was during the multiplayer stream um i did a single player though interesting mechanic to kind of have that monster without the environment and working in the arena i like it um but what i like more is actually i think it's special arena where you get you don't get to pick your gear or your weapon you just kind of get sent with a pre-configured gear to fight a monster and i went through this very fast it was kind of a reward for a uh, mini guy lad who was helping moderate the whole multiplayer stream last time we just went in for a rathian not realizing, I thought I picked the switch axe loadout, but I picked a switch blade loadout and I entered the arena. I was like, wait, this isn't a switch axe. And I started fighting the Rathian with a switch blade, not knowing how to use this thing. And for the most part, it felt much faster than a switch axe. I was like, oh man, this feels so good. So I know a lot of you, uh, well, when I started, I had a little bit of affinity towards the switch blade. I was like, I'm gonna come back to you. That accidental match gave me that itch where I'm like, Switchblade, you and I, we have a date with Destiny eventually. I'm going to come back to Switchblade because it played so interestingly that I want to. But first, Switch Axe. So anyway, so we go back to Diablos. I see it there, stalking its cactuses everywhere. It's cacti, sorry. 
And I'm just like, oh man, I'm gonna hurt you so much after everything you did to me. We're going for some revenge. And I got in there, I brought some screamer pods so it would hide. It was a very different fight. Last time it ran out of its cave pretty quick and it was kind of like hanging around the cliffs a lot. So I was trying to jump on it and it cornered me around the cliffs. This time we stayed in the caverns most of the time and it used a lot more of its digging features. Uh, so I actually ran out of my screen pods very quickly. I had made screen pods, I had the easy screen pods and they were awesome because when I would go underground, I would just like launch that at the ground. It would come out and I could get a few hits on it. Now my goal was not just to defeat Diablos, it was to absolutely destroy it. And I have to say I was quite successful in that. I knocked and broke both of its horns, its tail flew out, I got no carts, and we destroyed this thing for the beast it is. Like I made this thing my, insert word. Um, and it felt good, it felt, it felt like this thing couldn't touch me. And I think that armor was a big key piece of that because uh, when I actually did get hit, it didn't take half my life the way that it did last week. It was like a sliver of my life. So I'm like, all right, I've got proper gear now. Um, actually like fighting it, I, I was a little bit more cautious in how to fight it. I just, I just mopped the floor with it. it. It felt good. Like it felt almost like it was too easy. And then from there, let me make sure I got everything. Yeah, from there we went on to the Zora part two, which did we really need to have another fight with this? Uh, I know I already shared that I don't care much about the story and all of you have said, yeah, the story doesn't matter. But my God, Zora battle part two, I I actually disliked it. The first one I was like, eh, it was, a, it was an interesting experience because it's cinematic, but part two, redoing the same thing was horrendous, boring, tedious, and it was, I didn't like it. So now we had like these stalagmites or stalactites, whatever they're called, that we had to like knock down. They give you like a brief as you're flying. They're like, oh, you're, you're gonna wanna knock those down. So I'm like launching rocks at it, nothing's happening. I'm, people are saying climb higher. So I'm trying to climb higher. I'm still launching rocks, nothing's happening. And then I realize, oh, if you if you like zoom in and look real close, there's barrels tied to those stalactites, mites, whatever. And that's what you have to hit. I didn't know. So I ended up, I think, knocking one, which was really unsatisfying to do. I was lost again most of the time, just like wailing on a rock that spits back every now and then. And then there was the, the Nigel dragon that showed up and we left him alone. I didn't go mess with him. And then we, you know, then you go into like the defense to try and I'm just like, this plot mechanic is so horrendously boring when you compare it to the rest of Monster Hunter and what the experience is. I'm glad the Zora chapter is done. I don't know what's next. Now we're like, hunting some mysterious Rathian markings and trackings. But the Zora chapter, like, let it rest. I hope it doesn't come back because, man, that was super boring. We, we got to use a Dragonator, so that was cool. The Dragonator is a cool word. It's a cool weapon. Everything else about it is really boring. And then, okay, so the big, the big milestone this week is we actually entered higher rank. And I, I thought it would have been a little bit more of a fanfare, but it's kind of a gradual... Hey, let's go back and visit this area. Oh, that monster sure is hard. Uh, my initial impressions of high rank are, I don't feel challenged yet. And I'm not trying to sound arrogant, but I feel I'm gonna come across as arrogant because, so I, I fought the Puke Puke, which is the first thing. I'm just like, oh my God, he's got so much more HP. Like I can tell that he's tougher, but I'm not struggling. I'm just, it's just taking me longer to kill him. And I was like, but it's Puke Puke, it's an entry level. So then we went and we fought something a little higher level, which I think a Tsitsi counts as higher level. Same thing, I was like, this is this is like clockwork. I know how to mop the floor with this thing. Um, and it just takes longer because it's hiring. And I was like, I wanna fight something new. I want a bigger challenge. And everyone's like, tee hee hee, B52. So I was like, show it to me, where is it? So I'm looking at the map and I see that there's an unknown monster in the spiral waste. So I'm like, all right, let's go see what this is about. So I'm going, I'm hunting, and then there it is. This, this beautiful, majestic beast, which I thought was like a dark Diablos for a moment. But then I'm like, no, it's got eggs like on its pouch and stuff. Turns out it's probably gonna pronounce this wrong. A basil juice, a basil juice, basil. It sounds like beetle juice. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, this is the rumored B-52 bomber. I've heard so much about this. Didn't think it would be such an anticlimactic intro i thought he was gonna fly over me and kind of surprise me i just kind of walked in on him and he's just like kind of roaming around the desert being like what's up and so i was like 
this is probably a bad idea. The game tells me don't attack it. And I was like, let's just go poke it. Let's have one of these like fun Anjanath moments just to see what the what the gap in skill is. So there I see this beautiful beast, the, the basil goose, basil juice, be beetle juice, whatever, B-52 bomber. Because I know I've just entered high rank, this is one of like the rumored terrifying things. The game tells me don't attack it. And everyone's like, oh my God, he finally found it. Let's see what happens. So I go ahead and fight it. And that fight went surprisingly well. And I carded once because he got me in a corner and I think I, I just got like blown up. But otherwise, I'm like, okay, he's slow. I can predict what he's doing. All right, he's flying overhead. Okay, don't go under him because that's where he's got all the sack of explosives and just keep wailing on him. I Oh, we got rid of his tail at one point. And I was like, oh my God, my first encounter with B-52 and I'm actually gonna kill it. Uh, but it was an expedition and he ended up flying away. But I was pretty much doing well. Um, I could I could have finished him if I had more time, but that's the problem I'm facing with high rank is I can't deal enough damage fast enough. Um, but on the defense side, so far I'm not having any issues, but I haven't really encountered more. Like the fact that I, that I fought that thing with no issues just kind of has me going like, come on high rank, give me something to, to bite into, give me, give me some challenge. So I was a little bit disappointed and bored with the stream after hearing about this B-52 bomber for so many weeks and not really knowing anything about it other than it was terrifying and to have went into this fight blind, unprepared, and pretty much have held my own, took off its tail, and would have won if I could have done more damage. It's a, it's a little disappointing. Uh, outside of that, high rank has crazy amount of armor. Just as I was starting to get comfortable with armor, they're like, oh yeah, now we have two styles of armor for every armor you have, and you have to go and re-farm re -farm and re-grind all of the monsters you've already fought. And I'm just like trying to process. I'm like, okay, what's the defense here? What's the skill here? Oh my God, what am I? There's just way too much stuff to do. Uh, so I don't know how I'm gonna process all this. I'm probably gonna need another menu stream or two. And it's gonna take me some time to, to, to reabsorb this. As a lot of people said, it feels like the game has essentially reset, but now I have all of my base knowledge kind of like solidified and now I actually have to learn skills, I have to learn maximum loadouts, maximizing my loadouts, optimizing for monsters. All of that said, I'm more interested of, I wanna fight new monsters, I wanna discover new monsters, I want new challenges. I hope that that's gonna be coming in in the next stream. We also uh, came across, I can now buy the attack and defense charms, so I got buffs from that. Thanks to my B-52 bomber fight, um, he dropped, some he dropped something that let me craft talons, I think, which let me upgrade both of my charms and buy two more charms. I'm not quite sure how much buff that is, but I feel like I've got some pretty stacked chances in my favor already right from the get-go entering high rank. So other than that, I, I'm, I'm at a point where I've, I think I've like, I've plateaued in, in the hype. Like th this week stream, had that big excitement of, I need to blast through this wall. And I almost feel like I, I blasted through the wall a little bit too hard. And I was like, okay, where's, I need, I need some more challenge. And I really, I assuming that there's a lot more, like I know I'm talking very blindly here to a lot of experienced people. Uh, I just hope I can get more of that rush. And I, I really hope it wasn't just limited to those kind of early monsters as a first experience. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to next. High rank right now, is just a lot of confusing armor to me and more buff monsters, but they're not challenging me yet. Uh, if this was wood, I would knock on it because I might regret those words. But otherwise, it's been a, a fun time. This weekend, we're doing a challenge stream where I'm going to be trying to do uh, a random weapon against a random monster that I've already fought. We'll see how that goes. We're gonna do more multiplayer stuff. We're gonna do a little bit of optional quests, grinding out some items for the canteen and all that. And overall, I'm just having a good time, having a fun time. I will be getting Iceborne. Uh, I have a key for Iceborne. I'm just waiting to activate it to finish kind of that vanilla Monster Hunter world. And now I just want to like, I just want to consume all of this game. Like I just want to do, do, give me all the monsters, give me all the quests. Let's just get through this. Now I'm invested. Uh, it's no longer a let's try the game. Now it's a matter of let's complete this game and let's just go through all the content it has to offer so I can get into Iceborne because my sights are already there. Because I don't have any sense right now, like, step back a bit. When you enter the first world in Monster Hunter World, 
you you know, you see eventually an Anjanath and you see a Rathalos and you're like, oh my God, these things are terrifying. And I've, I've destroyed those. And where I am in the game right now, I haven't seen anything that scares me where I'm like, I need to work to that. So I need a new goal. Like right now I'm, I'm in an open world setting with monsters I already know that got buffed up in defense and maybe a little bit of attack. That's not intimidating or enticing. I need to, I need to see something else that I can be like, that's my goal. That's what I need to do. So the game needs to set me up with something. And I think that's a beat they might have missed at this point in the story where, okay, you just beat the Zora, you just entered high rank, but they're just like, go into the world that you're familiar with and do whatever you want um, instead of setting up kind of your next pillar to aim for. So that's where we're at. I'll see you otherwise on the next stream or the next journal. And until next time, keep it classy.